everybody. So today I have a few uh, foraged items that were kindly sent to me by uh, viewer Raymond. Raymond, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He sent me three different uh, berries that grow out in the western United States. Uh, he sent these out from uh, from Washington. So if you go up that way, if you go to like uh, you know the northwestern states, the biodiversity out that way is like nuts. There's all sorts of amazing huge trees and uh, a lot of cool stuff out that way. These are red huckleberries. And I have not had huckleberries at all. Uh, but uh, when I went out to uh, Seattle last time, I asked around, like, where can I get some huckleberries? Everybody has, like, a spot, but they guard it. If you, like, really shake somebody down, you can probably find some huckleberries if you're out in the, the Northwest. But uh, when I was there, unfortunately, even though I made some friends there, um, it wasn't in season. <laughs> so I have to go there again to, to get huckleberries. Or they can be sent to me, uh, like Raymond sent me these, but these are red huckleberries, which I believe are probably even more rare. Huckleberries are uh, in the Vexinium genus, and if you look at one of these up close, you can tell that it, it does actually look like a blueberry. It's got that little kind of like divot in it, but also has like a little like white uh, ring in there, like a little, it looks like a little star, which is kind of... Uh, kind of nifty looking. These were very popular with like Native Americans. They would eat them fresh when they were fresh and they would also dry them uh, to be used later and they would cook with them and stuff like that. Uh, one interesting tidbit from Wikipedia, so you know it's true, is um, these were used as fish bait. They look so similar to salmon roe that you can like actually catch a fish with these. You know, some fish they want to eat that. So there's the inside. You can see it's full of all these tiny little seeds. Uh, this one might be like a little un unripe, so I'll try a couple of them. But that one in particular is not super sweet, maybe like uh, 2 out of 10. It is quite sour though. Uh, I'd say maybe like a 7 out of 10. Like less than a lemon, but more than like an orange. It tastes a little bit like if you had cranberry and uh, blueberry and mix them together. You know how like blueberry, if you eat like a lot of blueberries, there's like, they have like a unique kind of flavor to them. It reminds me of like a creaminess to it. It has that. So this one is a little less, uh, a little less unripe. You can see that uh, the little ring in there, that little white ring that I described, that is actually not white in this one. Going a little too far. <laughs> because that one has a slight fermented taste to it. But it's sweeter. Still quite tart though, which is interesting. The tartness is about the same, maybe a little bit less. The sweetness is a little bit more, but not like dramatically so, um, ignoring the fermented flavor. There is like a herbal kind of quality that you get from it. That is like the herbal quality that you get from a lot of foraged um, fruits. It's like an herbal flavor that just kind of gives it like a kind of like roughness to it. I actually kind of like that. I like that when you pick berries from a bush outside your yard, it's going to have more uh, subtle, complex flavors in it than if you get them from the store. It's not as clean tasting, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It, it gives it like a little bit more character, I think. And I, I'm definitely getting that with, with these. It's got that forage berry kind of flavor. <laughs> But uh, other than that, it's not like anything real crazy, but they're good. If you like blueberries and you like cranberries, you'll like these. Like, they're super tasty. So I think that's about all I have to say about the red huckleberry. So now i got to try the regular huckleberry at some point so I can kind of compare the two. But uh, yeah, that's really interesting. And thanks again to uh, Raymond for sending me that because uh, I don't think... It, it probably would take a long time before I could find this myself. Um, uh, ironically, some of the most difficult fruit to find in the world is in my own country, because you gotta go out into the woods and like find it yourself. 
So, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. There's going to be a preview at the end of this video, so don't go anywhere. I just want to give a big shout out to all the mega contributors over on Patreon. Dr. Torgman, Altpod, and the channel Smarter Every Day. Patreon is how this channel happens, so if you want to find out more about how you can contribute and help this channel grow, do click on the link in the description below or the one that's floating around me right now. I also have t-shirts for sale. This is the latest one, the Mandrake Group shirt, which is available on my website, also in the description below. Uh, this is not a huge channel. I'm trying to make it big. Leaving a comment or liking, subscribing, sharing, anything you can do, guys, does help me out quite a lot. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.